Though I speak with the tongues of men and angels, and though I have the gift of prophecy, and have all faith so that I could remove mountains, and have not love, I am nothing. Petrus was once again quoting from St. Paul. My guide felt that the Apostle Paul was the major occult interpreter of Christ's message. We were fishing that afternoon after having walked for the whole morning. No fish had yet perished on the hook, but Petrus <laughs> didn't care about that at all. According to him, fishing was basically a symbol of the human being's relationship with the world. We know why we are fishing, and we will catch something if we stay with it, but whether we do or not depends on God's help. It's a good idea to always do something relaxing prior to making important decisions in your life, he said. The Zen monks listen to rocks growing. I prefer fishing. But at the time of day, because of the heat, even the fat, lazy fish on the bottom ignored the hook. Whether the bait was up or down, the result was the same. I decided to give it up and take a walk through the nearby woods. I went as far as an old abandoned cemetery close to the river. It had a gate that was totally disproportionate to the size of the burial ground, and then came back to where Petrus was fishing. I asked about the cemetery. He said the gate was part of an ancient hospital for pilgrims, he said, but the hospital was abandoned, and later someone had the idea of using the facade and building a cemetery, which was also been abandoned. That's right. The things of this life don't last very long. I said that he had been nasty the night before in his judgments of the people at the party, and he was surprised at me. He said that what he had talked about was more or less than we had ourselves experienced in our personal lives. All of us seek eros, and then when eros wants to turn itself into philos, we think that love is worthless. We don't see that it is philos that leads us to the highest form of love, agape. Tell me more about agape, I said. Petrus answered that agape cannot really be discussed, it has to be lived. That afternoon, if possible, he wanted to show me of the facts of agape, but in order for this to happen, the universe, as in the business of fishing, would have to collaborate so that everything went well. The messenger helps you, but there is one thing beyond the messenger's control, beyond his desires, and beyond you as well. What is that? The divine spark, what we call luck. 